So the next thing now we want to add is an application DB context class. What is an application DB context class? An application DB context class is a class that will help us to communicate with our database and perform operations on our database tables. That is like adding, deleting or updating. Now let's go ahead and create that class. Let's create a folder called as data in our project. Within our data folder, let's create our application DB context class. So let's add a new file, which is an empty class, and we'll call it application DB context. Now what we want to do is the first thing is and inherit our application db context class from identity db context which is a part of entity framework core so inheriting our application db context class from identity db context class which is a part of entity framework core will now give our class application db context access to all the methods and properties of identity db context class and using this methods or access that we receive we can now communicate with our database now one thing that we want to do is we need to pass the options to the constructor of a class what are these options these options are basically the connection string in order to communicate with the right database so let's pass the connection string for that we will create an object of of type db context option that is database context options and db context options is a part of entity framework core so let's add the reference and for which class we are passing the options we are passing it for our application db context class and let's call this object as options now when our an object of our class application db context type is created the constructor will be called and the options will be passed to the base constructor and we will pass these options here so the base constructor is the constructor for our identity db context class because our class application db context inherits from identity db context now the next thing that we want to add is a database set so we have created two database sets that's two classes model classes that is gallery and gallery image and we want to create a database table for each of these classes using entity framework course code first approach now if we want to create database tables for these two classes we must make sure that these two classes are added as properties to our application db context class so let's create a property called as db set of, of type gallery and call it galleries i've just used the plural form of the naming convention for each each class model class so an db set of gallery image called as gallery images we can add the missing reference that is using image gallery dot models and that should remove the error so that's it now when we will create our database using the code first approach we will see two tables created for galleries and for gallery images these tables were created because we told entity framework that they are part of our application db context so whenever now we want to perform any operations on these two database tables we can do it through these two entities which is gallery and gallery images default connection so i'll say server is equal to my server is localhost and then i need to provide the port number so comma my port number was 1433 and then i put a semicolon to end the server attribute now i provide a database attribute and database attribute is basically the name of your database so i want my database to be called as image gallery db you can use or provide any name that you wish to 
end it with a semicolon and now we'll provide the user attribute now the user is basically the system admin so i put sa and then i need to provide the password to connect for that specific user so f password would be semicolon and that's it so this is my connection string to connect to my sql server instance running on a docker container but as I told you that if you are running Windows, your connection string would not look something like this. It would be totally different. And I will show you guys how it would look. And I will also provide it in the description of this video tutorial. So in case if you want to just change the values, you can play around and see. Or you can always go to SSMS, that is SQL Server Management Studio and get your connection string for your server so the way it will look in windows is something like this so you would have the same attribute like server but it will look quite different because i'm calling it here as local host but it will be your local db and so on this entire string or this entire connection string for connecting to our server on Windows I will add it in the description of this video and you can copy paste it and change the values accordingly but yes if you do feel that you want to google it a bit and find out the way you connect to your database you can do that as well so it's up to you but those who are using Mac and running uh, the SQL server on docker container like me they can just follow this tutorial and use this connection string so that's it guys for this uh, tutorial on creating your application db context class and uh, adding a connection string now what we are going to do in the next video tutorial is we are going to go ahead and add a service add our application db context class to our service and i will explain to you why we need to do that as well so please watch the next video tutorial thank you